In the past, I've done my fair share of pushing things back. Admittedly, I'm the type of person that procrastinates to the last second to do things like school assignments, supplying my friends that take academics seriously with a healthy dose of anxiety. I've also pushed back a decent amount of videos in the past. I've had several ideas over the years that, despite sometimes making titles and thumbnails for, never got the opportunity to be uploaded to YouTube. But I don't think I've ever pushed a video back as much as I have with this one. I've procrastinated on my Batman Arkham Knight video so much that the far more visually appealing five years has now turned to six. That bothered my OCD so much that I changed the video idea to Arkham City, which is 10 years old this year, arguably an even better number than five. But then I realized how inconvenient it is to record PS3 footage. So back to Arkham Knight, we returned. Before we get into the video, I have one rather exciting channel announcement to make. This upcoming Thursday, February 25th, the Outriders demo is coming out. A majority of you voted in favor for me streaming, so on February 25th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time or 11 a.m. Eastern, I'm going to stream Outriders. The developers were nice enough to give me early access, so the stream will actually begin before the demo gets open to the public. It's going to be a little rough, considering I've never done something like this before, but if you guys really enjoy the stream, then I'll invest more time in future streams, making them all fancy with overlays and stuff. And of course, you can still expect a video later on next week going over my impressions on the game so far. I'll send you guys another reminder when we get closer to the actual stream, but I wanted to make sure you're aware in advance so you can tune in and watch it. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to get on that quickly. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's take a look at Arkham Knight a whole six years later. Batman Arkham Knight came out in 2015, which is incredibly weird for me to think about, not only because it's still one of the most beautiful looking games on the market, but because that means it's been six years since we've gotten a Rocksteady game or a Batman game in general. We've since heard what Rocksteady and WB Games Montreal's next projects are, but they don't seem to be coming out anytime too soon. Arkham Knight was the fourth Arkham game to release, but only the third in the Rocksteady trilogy. Considering we got an entire filler game in Arkham Origins to give Rocksteady more time to complete this next-gen project, the expectations for Arkham Knight were incredibly high. And at the time of release, those expectations were met. For the most part, Arkham Knight is a great game, better than like 92.6% of games that come out any given year. That's an exact statistic, by the way, look it up. However, its worst enemy is itself. This kind of thing is something we see pretty often when dealing with any great media, honestly. Arkham Knight is a fantastic game, but since it's being compared to its predecessors, Arkham Asylum and City, arguably genre-defining games, it gets held to a higher standard than the average game would. I'd be willing to say that most Batman fans were very pleased with how the Arkham games wrapped up, and Rock City's trilogy stands as one of the best trilogies in gaming, and like I said before, paved the way for other superhero video games like Insomniac Spider-Man, which I also love. Back when it first came out, people praised Arkham Knight for another strong story, incredibly refined core gameplay, outstanding graphics, engaging side missions, and practically everything else in between. As a matter of fact, the only thing that people didn't seem to enjoy were things like the Arkham Knight himself and an overuse of the Batmobile. While Arkham Knight didn't have many faults, granted, the areas it did suffer in were kind of crucial. The Arkham Knight is the name of the game, so for him to be sort of an overhyped retelling of a known Batman story, it was disappointing for many people. I still wish he was Damian Wayne trying to avenge Talia. Arkham City threw that all at you, but no one came down to finish the dunk. And while I really like the Batmobile and Bat Tank and can even get down with some Bat Tank stealth, I do agree that it was overused. Having all important boss battles, a staple of this franchise for me, be fought in the freaking Bat Tank, and then one stealth one, is easily my biggest gripe. The sidekick dual takedown thing is cool, the Batmobile is cool, but Rocksteady did lean on those things a bit too much in my opinion, and that's still true today. I would have preferred to see a little bit less of that and a bit more of my classic Arkham boss battles. Some people out there thought the boss battles in previous Arkham games were corny and actually preferred the sidekick fights, but I am certainly not one of those people. I also love fear takedowns, I love all the environmental stuff, I love the addition of enemies like the minigunners and medics. There are literally so many different ways to approach combat in this game. It's insane. You can play through it three times and still find new combinations of gadgets to use. I just saw the other day that if there's one enemy left and he has the scanner to find Batman's location, 
If you let him scan your location while you're also standing right behind him, he'll say a line like, this doesn't make any sense. It says he's right behind me. And then he turns around and freaks out. There's an insane level of detail put into Arkham Knight's free flow and predator mechanics. Like seriously, go look up Batman Arkham Knight cool stealth takedowns and it will open your eyes to like 10 things you had no idea you could do. I don't want to become an IGN meme here or anything. I do realize you guys make me a meme, but to honestly, this game and these types of things make you feel like Batman. There I said it, it's not Spider-Man, but I said it. The side content in Arkham Knight is also really great. Some people don't like how they made you either 80 or 100% complete the open world to get the true ending to the game, which I understand. But at the same time, that side content is really good. The Riddler trophies can get tedious, but it does end in a satisfying boss battle and it's well paced with additional riddles to solve. So you're not just collecting trophies all the time. Plus it just works better thematically. This is Batman's last night, so it makes sense he wouldn't hang up the cowl with crime still afoot. I actually wish more games would set up their story this way. So progressing past the campaign feels natural instead of just resetting time back before you do the final mission. Personally, it just gives me more incentive to continue playing past the main story. I know people had technical issues at first on PC, but Arkham Knight is one sexy game. And I ain't just talking about Catwoman. The open world itself has so many distinct locations that I can remember them all to this day. Panessa Studios, the airships with Simon Stagg, the GCPD, Ace Chemicals, the Clock Tower, the freaking statue lady in the middle of the map. Graphically speaking, I think some of its impressiveness is due in part to how Gotham is built. The nighttime setting, the rain, the neon lights and the reflections that all of that makes, the fog, those kinds of things look better graphically over time in my opinion due to advances in ray tracing technology and things like that. But just in general, the graphics are amazing. The animations are incredibly fluid, both in combat and facial animations and cutscenes. And the sound design, the sounds when you're in the freaking bat tank, so cool, man. The sound of Batman punching someone's skull in or breaking their arm. I don't know if that makes me some sort of psychopath, but it's just, this is good audio design. In some ways, I can't believe this game came out six years ago looking at it now. It still looks fantastic. It looks so good, I don't see how Rock City's next game will be able to look much better than this, honestly. Before I hop into actually playing the game, I want to address the story. Even if you go into the game knowing the Arkham Knight isn't a new character, that he's just the Red Hood, I still don't think Arkham Knight has the best story in the series. Arkham City is better in my opinion. Arkham Knight's story is still really great though. It keeps you engaged all the way through. Like I said, it's a better, it's got a better story than most games. And while I love the Joker so much in this game, they do just resort back to making the Joker the main antagonist again. This isn't inherently a bad thing, but he does take the spotlight away from Scarecrow and the Arkham Knight, two villains I wish did more in this game. But overall, I love the inclusion of the Joker so much so that he was the only thing I could think about while playing Cyberpunk. My issue is less with the Joker and more with the lackluster treatment of the other villains in the game. Still, the story that's told here is presented really well, and after 100% finishing the game, I felt very satisfied with the ending we were given. Plus, Arkham Knight had tons of challenge map DLCs, skins, and additional story content that was all very polished too. While we haven't gotten anything Batman related in a while, WB Montreal is coming out with Gotham Knights, a role-playing co-op game not set in the direct Arkham timeline, to my knowledge. That's supposed to release later this year, maybe in July. That was a leak, but I don't know if that's 100% true. Don't quote me on it. And then next year, Rock City has a Suicide Squad game coming out, both games are deviations from the existing Arkham template, but hopefully they're good. We'll have to wait and see. If you want to hear my Arkham rankings, I'll give them here real quick, but this is probably if I, I know if I say this out loud, it's all you people are going to comment on, but I'm doing it anyway. I love all of them. I think they're all really, really great games. But if I had to rank them, I would pick it as Arkham City, Knight, then Origins and Asylum are kind of a tie for third and fourth at the bottom for me. Arkham Knight definitely has the best gameplay, Arkham City the best story, I think Arkham Asylum nails the Gotham ambiance the best actually, and Arkham Origins is the most Christmassy, which earns points in my book too. It has the best boss battles, I'll give it that. Plus Batman actually puts his fists up when entering combat, which is a detail I've been on the record to appreciate several times now. I don't know why Rocksteady has him standing upright like a freaking goofball when he has 15 dudes surrounding him, I guess it's because he's Batman. 
This is a single player game, so I don't think much of anything will have changed since I last played the game, but I'm still gonna hop back in to end this video and play it for you guys. So without further ado, let's do it. Hey guys, I'm back. For you, I was only gone a couple of seconds, but for me, I was gone one really long time. This video has been so incredibly stressful for me to make, and I will spare you all of the, uh, or at least many of the little intricacies. <laughs> this is like my third time trying to record this part. One, because I'm either unhappy with my uh, commentary in my video or my capture card keeps dropping frames. I had to tinker around with the settings, so hopefully my perfectionism just comes in to it a lot with my uh, videos where it's like, it, I can't I can't release something if it's dropping frames and isn't is looking like straight doo-doo poopy cake, so. Um, hopefully this goes well, but I'm in the game. I proceeded also because my save doesn't carry over from PS4 to PS5 despite... Wait, I'm gonna try this. Because PS5 actually switched it around where you hold down the button to go to the home screen. I'm still trying to get used to it even though I've had this thing for like three months. I digress. Anyway, I earned the platinum for this game, but my saves, none of them are on uh, PS5. So. I've had to start a new game. I got to the point where we go to the Ace Chemicals building and Scarecrow's gonna show up for the first time. I figured that would be a good time to go, uh, where I got like my suit upgrade and we can do some things. So I'm gonna show Batman punching some people in the face. So they know that Batman's here, but everybody's like, doesn't know that Batman's here. Just <laughs> at least acting like they don't know Batman's here. One thing I really like about this game, let's see if it gives it to me. Wow. I was gonna compliment this game and it didn't give it to me. It lets you silent takedown from like really far up. Which does make the game easier. Like Predator is kinda like it's kinda stupidly easy in this game. Because Batman can just freaking he's a freaking OP. But it's it's beautiful at the same time, like all the animations and stuff that they added. Let's see, do I take out that guy by himself or these two at the same time? I'm doing it. Oh, it's so freaking cool! See how he just took them both down at the same time? This dude ain't even here. BAM! What a freaking beast, this guy. Look at that dang zoom in. So freaking cool. How do you catch that thing? So freaking cool, man. Everything is so freaking, like, man, so cool. Look how big that moon is over there. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> here we go. Gonna try to kill some people. I mean, brutally put them to sleep. Yes, of course. Boom, 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 boom. Give me your bat. It's crazy how I remember these things. Oh my gosh. Boom, sucker. Y'all always talk about it. Timbo, you don't know how to freaking play no dang video games. Timbo, you suck. This gameplay's awful. Look at your boy now. I would have beaten this game on New Game Plus, I will say. No hit indicators, no problem for your boy. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah, right, Batman. Whoa! Did I blow that tank up just by running really quickly into it? Oh god. This is gonna be me taking no hits ever, okay? You heard me first. I'm taking no hits. Not in the Batmobile. Not in the fr <laughs> Not in this thing. I can't even speak, but I'm taking no hits. I'm not gonna take a hit from the Batmobile. I'm not gonna take a hit during stealth. I'm not gonna take a freaking hit when I'm punching dudes in the face, alright? But we saved this poor man. Wait a second. Those waffles? Oh shoot, is it toast? He's building a bomb big enough to cover It looks like a banana. It's like dang square pancakes now. I'm, I, my mind is <laughs> all sorts of juice. Why are there footprints on the table? Whoa! Here we go. Oh shoot, I didn't know I could fear take down from here. That was kind of cool. Made it a lot easier in my life. Don't you dare, oh. You see how close that was? Woo! That was close. That guy did like the charge though. So oh dang nabbit. I'm trying to use gadgets. I can't do any uh, quick fire. I guess it's an unlockable. I guess it makes sense. I gotta unlock that again. 
Uh oh. Woo! Holy mackerel! See, these types of- the guys with the swords and the militia? That's what made me think that it would be like a sort of League of Shadows, League of Assassins type of thing. Uh, like these were Raz- uh, Razel Ghoul's guys. Uh, just a second! <laughs> I told you. I told you. The more I talk, the more like afraid I get though, that I'm actually gonna get hit by one of these things. I wanna sidewind him. Woo! It's too easy. No, 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 Alfred, get out of here. I wanna just get my freaking <laughs> explosive gel. I see what's over here. If I just let him go, just, ah, <laughs> Batman, no. You know, I said the thing in the video about like the lights and the, the nighttime and all that stuff being a big reason why the graphics look so good. But even these interiors, I mean, these interiors look so good as well. Oi, the devil, take that medic. Oh, yes. I love how they just watch him do this. Like, they just watch him do the combo thing. Oh, there's so many times I almost got hit where I, like, I tried to do a ground take down there, but it was almost a good thing that that guy got taken out because otherwise he would have gotten the ground takedown animation and would have gotten hit. Also, that's the same guy who I broke the arm off earlier in the game who's in prison right now. That's, like, the third time I've seen him. Okay, well, I've been playing for about 30 minutes. This is taking a little bit longer than I expected, so I'm just going to end it right there. Uh, I don't... I don't think anyone would have questioned that this was still playable six years later because it hasn't been that long. But this is still like a game that's like this could have came out this year and I wouldn't have thought any different. Um, it's still like one of the best looking games. I also believe it is in um, the PlayStation um, PlayStation's best. So if you get PS5 and you have PS Plus, you can also get it for free. So that is cool because this wasn't even a PlayStation exclusive. So that's one of like the few games that that happened with which is very nice. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a positive rating is greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys again so much for watching and making it all the way to the end. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.